So today I'm going to be talking about the top 10 armor enchants because I saw someone ask for this in my discord group. So now I'm going to do it. So for number 10, we got adhesive. Now, why is this on the top 10 list? Because there's only like 10 armor enchants. So in theory, this is the last aka the worst armor enchant in the game now why is this the worst it's pretty self-explanatory doesn't really do any action and when it does do the action that it's supposed to do aka pull them into you it's pretty buggy sometimes it really just doesn't even do it it's percentage based so it doesn't do it all the time it's like pretty dang useless so if you get this armored enchant you really want to roll it for something else now if you don't want to re-roll your enchant you might as well wipe your build because if you're rocking this enchant your build is better off in the purgatory so yeah so for the next enchant number nine we got bounce we got bouncy house welcome to the bouncy house so this enchant is going to be number nine it's a little more useful than adhesive it kind of works as like a vent but a man barely procs kind of useless doesn't really do anything and yeah it's percentage based too and it's a very low percentage too at that so yeah for number eight, this is actually kind of useful, displacement. So if you're heavy in displacement procs while you're hitting, you can get a free heavy hit or any weapon, to be honest, you can get a free hit in. Also, you can S hold and get out of combos. So it's like a double benefit to it, but it's probably just not good enough to go over the other enchants. But it's pretty solid. So yeah, I'll put this at number 8. We got Displacement. For number 7, we got Allure. Now the reason why this isn't super high is because if you just get Lasting Charisma and you land a Gaze, a Radiant Kick, an Oath Mantra, any mantra in the whole entire game, they're already charmed for like 8 seconds to 15 seconds. So it's not really needed at all. Now I will say this is a high proc chance. I think it's like over 50% proc chance to get a lore. But the downside is that when you proc it, it only lasts for like 2 to 3 seconds. So it's like good and bad at the same time. It might save you from getting extra hits in a combo. But yeah, it's pretty useful and useless at the same time. So yeah, maybe there's certain builds that can benefit off of this but not my builds. I will not be running Allure. Now for number six, we got Drowned. Now, why is this better than Allure? Because like I mentioned, Allure has a very low proc timer and you can just charm them by yourself for like eight to 15 seconds. So you're actually benefiting 10 HP flat for getting Drowned, but you're not really benefiting anything out of getting Allure besides getting like a couple hits in a combo and those couple hits only really matter if they do them when they're not charmed at that so it's pretty dang useless to get allure i'm not gonna lie unless you just have zero confidence in charming them in the last 8 to 15 seconds to the point where you just want to run allure and you don't want to fight at all then maybe it might be good for your build it's situational so yeah but for number five we got stench if you run stench with like a resistance high hp build you can get a lot of percentage off of your enemy just by purely existing and it would be better than drown in my opinion because honestly one stench proc is probably 10 hp and if you do more than that by having a semi decently tanky build or just surviving more than like 10 seconds i'm pretty sure i would proc twice and do more than 10 hp making the difference more than drown so yeah i'm gonna put stench at five for number four we got ferocity but stench might even be better than ferocity because ferocity is based on tempo but stench procs the same effect every single time so amen but at the same time ferocity protects you from range attacks i'm pretty sure and stench does not hit the enemy on range attacks so i don't know man it's a double-edged sword for both of those but if you want to be more protective and more stable with your build i recommend just going six ear edition with ferocity and you should be i right, getting your resistance at any range and just being a tank lord to tank the chime elos and just win by not hitting the enemy because that is what we are all about now speaking of winning without hitting the enemy 
we got our next enchant at number three we got entanglement giving you about six percent more resistance than ferocity without being based on tempo so you get more and you get it more often so yeah you got 10 percent damage reduction for free whenever it procs for the next five hits too which is insane so if you want to be even more stable than not going stench or ferocity you can pick entanglement and pick the top three enchants which leads me to my next one for number two we got viscosity saving you from a lot of storm damage at the end possibly winning you fights with less hp than the enemy and possibly saving you from dying multiple times because let's say you take about 200 damage at three percent or like 200 damage at around five percent so you don't insta die it will actually negate like 150 plus of that damage and just only take you to one percent and then you could reinforce and take that same combo again and take a lot of hp so if you really think about it this enchant isn't just taking damage over time it's a better drown if you really just believe and you will achieve but the moment we've all been waiting for the number one enchant in the game i'm gonna pick multiplicity itself because unlike viscosity you don't have to be one shot you can just get hit by like a heavy that does 50 damage let's say and you gain you like negate all of that 50 damage so if you think about it it's drowned but with 50 hp and it procs multiple times so you can get like 150 extra hp plus from a fight depending on how tanky you are depending on how much times it procs but i'm pretty sure it's gonna proc at least two to like four times a fight so that's gonna be giving you like at least 80 hp plus just by getting this one armor enchant okay that may be an exaggeration probably like 50 and it has some side actions that it does but yeah this enchant is pretty overpowered so yeah you're gonna want to get multiplicity on every single build that you make if you do not get it archmage will personally come to your house and wipe your build so you're gonna want to get this enchant also you're gonna want to like and sub if you enjoy my content or archmage will ban your account your restore will be denied and agamas will eat all of your food at 3 a.m so yeah guys thank you for watching and peace